Hey what's up everyone, today we're going to be doing a gaming video. I'm just kidding, it's not really going to be a gaming video, but it will involve video games, because I'm going to be showing you how to make this thing, like, effect in Blender, but through Minecraft. So, uh, let's get into it. It's, there's nothing much to explain, it's literally just a camera track from Minecraft to Blender, but I'll be showing you how to do it. So, let's get into that. Alright, so the first part of the process is getting the actual video and, you know, the information to make the Blender stuff look more realistic. So first off, obviously, you need to start with your game. I'm gonna choose Minecraft because that's probably the easiest for, you know, uh, Blender to track. But, um, you can choose basically any game. And Minecraft, I've seen those shorts where, you know, it shows the realistic water in the pond or whatever. And that's what I want to try to make this time. So, all you need to do, find like a flat area or something and just dig a little hole. I'll do a 4x4. Four four. This will work perfectly. So, once you got your little hole over here, all you really need to do is just, um, I guess you go into survival first. Um, oh wait, no. Let's grab our little water bucket. Actually, you don't even need the water bucket because what we're gonna do is we're gonna just overlay the hand in the hot bar on top later because I'm not sure if camera tracking will work well if there's like just a hand and a cam and a hot bar down here or you any UI elements like the, the center crosshair might even uh, impact it. But yeah, all you need to do now is just press F1 and you'll go into this um, kind of it'll just take away all of the UI so you can just, you know, normally it's to experience the game better, but this will really help. And one more thing is we should first turn off distortion effects because um, it'll make sure that the FOV stays the exact same. And same with the FOV effects, just keep these both off. And you could also turn off view bobbing so it's easier to overlay and you don't have to actually match the motion later. So we can turn that off and everything else should be fine. Do that, and this is our game. See, I'm sprinting, and you can't even tell because you just go a little faster instead of the FOV going higher. That's pretty much it. Now, all you need to do is record your video. I already got my video recorded, but you guys can do whatever you want. You know, start off over here or something, look around a little bit to get some information, and then once you got that, just start here. Go close, uh, make it like you're pouring out the water bucket, and oh my god, looks so cool. Wow, amazing. Something like that. Anything can work. So once we're done with that, what we need to do is we need to get the overlay of our hand. Alright, next what you have to do is grab yourself some glow item frame, uh, oak planks, and an empty map. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this empty map all green, or if your skin color, or like, you know, your skin color is green, make it some color that isn't anywhere on the UI. Um, I'm gonna choose green because I think that'll work the best. Uh, we just go a little far somewhere over here. We grab our map and we make it first. Now you can see this map is pretty big and it's not all completely green. So what we want to do, let's just go to the edge of the map somewhere over here. Let's say about here. That should work. Make sure that you're on a, you're a dot on the map and not an actual arrow. Just um, go back. Uh, take note of this um, XYZ coordinates. So just press F3 if you want to get the coordinates. All you need is the block negative 443 and negative 64. The Y coordinate doesn't matter as much. Now let's go on to the other side. Right about here should do. Alright. You do that and make note of the coordinate. Actually you don't need to make note of it. So all you got to do is type slash fill. There we go. That should fill this up. I don't think I got the coordinates right. Nope, not at all. It's like halfway. Let me quickly do that again, I guess. All right, the coordinate was actually negative 445, not 512. So if we do that again, and if we just break these, if we check our map, it should be completely full. So if we explore this area again, there we go, we got a completely green map. And now just to make sure it doesn't update when we you know, delete everything, Let's just go to the corner somewhere here, like down here, grab a cartography table and a glass pane. Glass pane, there we go. Just put this somewhere over here, grab your map, put your map in first and then put the pane. This will basically just lock it so if you put anything on top of here, like say a few of these, it won't really show up on the map. So it's a good way to lock stuff up. and. We can just delete this, so basically you just need to do the same thing, but type in air instead of lime concrete. 
So literally just put this command in and it should delete everything. There we go. All right, next what we need to do is we go and we need to make a little, little box around us. So the reason we're using maps and glow item frames is that when we make a box like this, right? Something like this with just lime green concrete, there are a lot of shadows and you can't really light the scene properly, right? Like this. But if you were to use a glow item frame and your map, it is completely green. Oh, wait, what? Oh, probably shouldn't have made the thing with that in there. Oh, it's probably because we're still in the map area. All right, let's go to a different spot, maybe somewhere over here. So we put our thing here. There we go. Yeah, it works this time. So we put all of these everywhere here. And we just put these on. Perfect. Um, just rotate these. I don't know what's wrong, but there we go. See, it's a literally a complete green void. So if we press F3, now we can just record our camera. So, uh, like I said before, we can turn off view bobbing and it doesn't matter. We don't bob when we walk. So we just need to do the turning. That's like, you know, the most important thing. So what you want to do now is we'll keep the map just in case I accidentally destroy one of these. Um, grab a water bucket right here and just, you know, do the motions just look at the video that you made and uh, try to motion match i guess as best as possible and the best part about this is that you can it looks like you're oh okay that's gonna be annoying <laughs> it looks like you're uh doing something but nothing actually happens see so it's perfect for um this kind of stuff so all you need to do record yourself doing this as well and you got your overlay and now we just need one last thing. Oh yeah. We can just keep it here just in case. We just need one more thing from here. Uh, let's, yeah, let's actually just delete this. Now we just need a panorama or an HDRI of the environment, right? Um, so let's just do this. Stand over here. Let's give, or actually we don't even need that. Just fly up a little bit, like somewhere over here, right? And make sure your FOV is set to about 90 there we go exactly not actually you have to set to exactly 90 for this to work and uh, To get our panorama. We're just gonna make a cube map, right? We go over here. Um, sorry. We go over here. We can just type task slash tp slash tp at s um, These three keys and I didn't know you could do this But there's like a little override where you can change the rotation as well. So if you type zero zero It'll make us look exactly here, F1. And you just need to take a screenshot, just press F2. So we got our screenshot saved. And next one, we go here. And since X is, you know, this rotation, we go here. This is um, looking right now. And take the screenshots, basically just do the exact same thing. 180, take a screenshot. Um, and then you can go negative 90. This is left, take a screenshot. And to look exactly down and up, you can go zero and 90 to look down and zero and negative 90 to look up. All you gotta do, take these screenshots. And one thing you can do to make it even better is that you can type slash tick freeze so that nothing happens. If there's like an animal over here, it won't move at all. And your panorama will be basically perfect. Also, it makes it sure make sure that the sun doesn't go down. Um, I'm pretty sure you can only do this in Minecraft 1.21 above, but just try it on whatever version you're on. And yeah, that's all we need from Minecraft. Now we can just uh, save and quit. All right, now that we're in Blender, we've got our scene over here. All I did was import the um, the coal map project, and I modeled just some of this geometry off the scene. So all I did was add a plane that was as big as um, this hole over here and just extrude the edges up to about here and just, you know, um, extruded these outwards. So we've got this little plane here that should be a perfect model of the hole. All right, now that we have this cube over here, all we need to do is go to object, quick effects, and quick liquid. 
we're gonna get our domain over here just move it upwards and till about there scale it on the shift c perfect oh wait it doesn't look right there we go now it's perfect so um let's set this domain to start at um let's sub at 165 and we'll end it at 516 perfect so now that we've played this there we go we got a little simulation here and if we go into the camera it looks perfect for this we can just change this into a shadow catcher right and hide that for now that looks pretty cool all right so um let's go into cycles i guess and right now everything is all completely dark right here we could just hide this over here um that's where our panorama comes in so if we add our if we go to here and since it's none we go add wait we go add a background that's why it was completely dark that was weird okay we add our background go to color and change this to environment texture so let's open that panorama that we made. Alright, hold up just a minute. While editing this video, I realized I didn't explain how I actually got the panorama, so I'm just gonna quickly show it to you right now. So first, obviously, you need to get your um, images, and make sure they're cropped to a uh, 1 by 1 ratio, because it won't work if you don't do that. Um, I have this little script that I made, yeah, I made, uh, mostly ChatGPT, but um, it basically just converts these four images into a cube map. So all you need to do to use it is we go to our terminal. Um, we just run python script.py phase2048. That just means how much, uh, how big you want the image. 2048 is like the max you should go. There's really no reason going above it. So you just enter, it'll take a second, it'll save this panorama and you'll get this output. It's pretty nice and it's basically seamless. You can't even tell. This is probably, I think somewhere around here is where, you know, it switches and you can you can't even tell so yeah that's uh basically how you get it and let's continue on with the video there we go panorama.png that should be fine um let's also hide this point cloud we don't need that anymore uh let's turn this off transparent right now so we can make sure that this uh lines up with the background so if we go here we go transparent just make sure that this looks a little different. The sand is supposed to be on this side and there's some pumpkins there as well. Uh, let's just rotate this, I guess. So all we need to do, go here, go to world, and just give this a mapping. And we just rotate on the Z until we find exactly what we're looking for. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like there. So we put it to 90. And that should give us accurate reflections. Go back to our object. And let's set this back to transparent. And we can also bump up the exposure or the strength to make it look a little more realistic. And this thing, this thing should actually also have the um, texture projected onto it. Even though it is a shadow catcher, it should still provide, um, right now it's a completely white, so it should be able to provide the um, bounce from here. The indirect lighting is what I was gonna say, but yeah. So if we add our image sequence, go here, grab our Minecraft track. I think the MP4 might work as well. No, it won't. Yes, it will. We just need to drag it in. So we got our um, MP4. Put this into here and make sure that we texture map it to the window like that. And obviously put the frames to what, 516? There we go. And we can also change this to clip. Perfect. Let's change the roughness to a bit rougher, a bit more metallic. Um, since it seems like it's a lot green. Oh, let's make sure to change this to in our color management, change this to from AGX to standard. It should make the colors look more um, true to the video. So let's put this back from transparent to, where was it? Yeah, from transparent to normal. Since this is really green, we gotta change that. Um, it might be in the color management here, maybe from sRGB to filmic, maybe, no. 
I guess we'll just play with these settings until we find what looks good. I think SRB, SRGB looks the best, but it's still a bit too dark. So if we bump up the strength maybe. How about instead of bumping up the strength, we go to world and we take anything that's bright and just make it brighter. So we take the color into the strength and just add a multiply node right there. If we turn up the value, it should make the sky look brighter. Whoa. And the ground look a little less bright, I guess. Uh, let's go back to our object. If we put this into here, just make sure, yeah, the color is the same. But it's just very green. I guess if it's completely metallic, it looks pretty good. Maybe if we add a little bit of emissive. Yeah, I think that looks good. Let's put back to transparent. And make sure this is a shadow catcher again. Honestly, that looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. And transparent, if we turn off transparent glass or turn it on. Yeah, it doesn't do any of the distortion, which I like. So there we go. That's basically it, right? It's got some nice blue water here. <laughs> That's basically all you want to do. put this to EV for a sec. Nope, that does not look good at all. So yeah, oh, that's basically it. You got your tracked thing. You can add whatever you want here. For example, if you want a little, I don't know, statue. You can add this little porcelain rabbit statue. If we just scale that up. It should look decently. <laughs> it still looks very blue. I think that's one of the problems. It's probably because this is a panorama. It's not supposed to actually light up the scene. So instead, if we go back here to our world, put this multiply back down to one, right? And we just light the scene with just basically like a soft box, just an area light. Go here, scale that up. Because that's what kind of basically what Minecraft's lighting is, right? Put the power all the way up. This should just give better lighting basically even higher and if we don't want it like this we could just add a sunlight as well kind of like this <laughs> it looks a little off with the minecraft you know style <laughs> but that looks pretty cool if you if you ask me literally everything else doesn't have any reflections at all or you know shadows so we could turn this exposure down just a tad bit and turn up the angle maybe that should give us much sh softer shadows like that there we go and we can still add our soft box as well oh let's just make sure this uh, rotation is the same and turn that up there we go see there it's perfect you got your Minecraft simulation, water simulation, plus you can add literally whatever else you want in the scene. And you can do so much with this. Like I made this other little thing, little cave uh, diving uh, thing. And that looks pretty cool. <laughs> like actually, it would be terrifying to see a spider that big somewhere here. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. You can use this on basically any video game. Um, add whatever else you want in the scene. You could add some smoke simulation explosions basically anything else i think the only limit is really the geometry and uh how long the video is gonna be because the longer the video the longer time it takes to process and if you don't have enough points it might not track well but that's that's it that's i guess that's it for this tutorial so i hope you guys enjoyed it um make uh, make cool things with this i guess Hope you guys like this video, hope you enjoy everything else, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.